Thirteen, cautions on replacement of indoor unit mainboard. Cautions on replacement of slave module mainboard. Before replacing the mainboard, please set the dip switch the same as the faulty board. Check the wiring and then power on the unit. No other setting is needed. Indoor unit mainboard dip setting and jumper cap confirmation. Whenever the indoor unit mainboard is replaced, please check if the dip setting and model is the same as the faulty board. For the new mainboard, configure capacity S1, jumper cap U22, fan overload detection terminal CN36, OVC fan, and overflow detection terminal CN35, water DTCT. This should be kept the same as those of the faulty board. Restore new mainboard engineering parameters to factory settings. This step is not required for originally packaged parts. After wiring, whatever the mainboard is for master indoor unit or slave indoor unit, the new mainboard must be restored to factory settings. Setting method. After the mainboard is powered on, long press up button for 5 seconds. If a tick sound is heard, release the button. Note, this step is not required for originally packaged parts.